it's like, you know, um, the next stage of my life. I mean, I'm a grandma and I love it. And um, I just adore those little girls, they're angels. I just love being a grandma. Sharon Osborne opening up about grandmotherhood. In this week's issue of People, we are shining a light on some fabulous grandmas who are about more than just knitting sweaters and baking cookies. Yes, 66 year old Sharon reveals that her three grandchildren, Andy, Minnie, and Pearl, I'll call her Nana, and her famous rock star husband, Ozzy Osborne, goes by Papa. And just like her own kids, her grandkids love seeing their Papa perform. They come to Ozzy's shows and they love it, and you know. They sit on the side of the stage and it's just like our kids did. Our kids used to do that when they were the same ages and here we are now with the grandkids. So it's, it's great. It's like from one generation to the other, you know, my kids embrace what Ozzy did, what I did for a living. And now our grandkids embrace it and enjoy being there and you know, the whole thing that goes on and it's like, to see their little eyes and all of this is going on, you know, it's larger than life for them. And it's just, it's just great. So it got us wondering, how is the Prince of Darkness as a grandfather? Take a look. He's so cute with them, you know, he watches everything from the baby channel on with them and they watch old movies and cartoons. Ozzy does a lot of drawing with the girls. They all, you know, three of them sit around the kitchen table and they're all drawing and it's lovely. They usually come in and wake us up really early and we're like, oh, no problem, no problem. Like, we, we don't mind, <laughs> come on, let's go and get breakfast. And Ozzy, I'll sit with them, Ozzy will make them breakfast. And then it's like, okay, what are we gonna do today? And then we all decide, we have like a group meeting and decide what we're gonna do today. I mean, honestly, you can only imagine what it would be like having Ozzy Osbourne as your grandfather. Their house must be so fun for the kids yeah. to go to, right? And Sheridan admits she's definitely into spoiling her grandkids rotten and basically does the opposite of what their parents ask her to do. They tell me don't give them to eat and don't give them chocolate and don't give them this. They get it all when they're here. And I know that they get grilled when they go home. What did you eat? What did you eat? But I tell them, don't say anything. What goes on at Nan's stays at Nan's. You know, like going to Vegas. Yeah, and while Sharon loves to give her grandkids anything they want, she also wants them to remain grounded and humble, especially since they're growing up surrounded by money and fame. Take a look. I think that when you're brought up with it, not that it's not a big deal, but you accept that's what your, your family does. And so you don't brag. There's nothing to brag because everybody's got parents that do whatever, whether, you know, they're a chef or you know what, you're a maid or whatever, and they do their best at their work. I don't want them to think that they're any more special or any more grander or this one's got this or that one's. I hate all of that. I find it really off-putting. You know, well, my daddy's got this and my daddy's got a plane and I'm like, shut up. I can't deal with it at all. I love her. Sharon also opens up about how her son Jack is coping after his divorce was finalized in March. She explains the importance of providing stability for Jack's kids during such a tough time and how Ozzy has been able to support his son through it all. I look at it like we are this thing that just is, you know, we're not gonna change, nothing's gonna change, you know what you're gonna get when you come here. And it's just, it's been great to have that at this point in their lives with what's going on. And, you know, it's been bad for Jack, he's, you know, been divorced with a guy. There's only so much that I can say, that I can do. That, you know, it's really his dad that, you know, he talks to that about because Ozzy's been divorced. And when Jack said that he was getting divorced, Ozzy cried because he said, I'm crying for you because I know how painful it's going to be because I've been through it and I don't want you to experience that pain. 
Wow, interesting to hear her perspective, kind of the mom's supportive perspective there. But we were curious, does Sharon notice a big difference between being a mom versus being a Nana? And here's what this glamma has to say about that. Well, you do lose so much when all your kids move out and they've been moved out for years. But now we have the grandkids, you know, they do sleepovers and all of that. And Ozzy and I are just thrilled to have them here. We adore them. I don't feel any difference. And I know that so many grandparents say it's the best because, you know, they go home. I want them to go home. I want them to stay here.